Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tyler, and welcome back to Scorpio Oxman Channel. So uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, something a little different uh, in regards to astrology. For the very first time, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, the astrology of a sports franchise. So instead of uh, the um, astrology of a man or a woman, believe it or not, uh, there's actually things in life and on earth that um, do have an astrology sign uh, or signs combined with one another uh, who are not who are not human, uh, things that are or not even a living thing, well, not technically a living thing. Uh, whether that be businesses, buildings, uh, cities, uh, in, in the world of sports, it can actually be a sports franchise as well. So what I could tell you, so what I'm going to tell you about today is uh, um, using this sports franchise and, as an example, which happens to be my favorite one. My number one, uh, I'm I'm huge on sports myself, and my my absolute favorite sports team, number one, uh, the Toronto Raptors, uh, who were officially born. The Toronto Raptors were officially born on this day, on this very day, November fourth, thirty years ago. They actually turned thirty on this day. I'm going to show you the proof of that, and I have the explanation for you why that is and how that is but believe it or not a sports franchise could have definitely has a birth date okay um if you're if you're looking at the birth of a sports franchise it's actually some people may believe okay how do you determine that like it's not like they 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 don't um how are they how is a sports franchise born how is a building how is a building in a city born or a city born in that i mean you could say that a city or um uh the day that a city is officially born would be the day that it's officially established as a city like you know the group of people who who'd established it they who, it's the day they got together and say, this is it. It's official that this is officially the city and it's the name of it and so on. It's just like the, the city of New York uh, or the city of Toronto. Uh, the very day that it, uh, that it was uh, supposedly uh, inaugurated uh, as a city or established and or like uh, the 4th of July, uh, the United States of America, we we know the, the, the 4th of July is the day 1776, uh, the 4th of July, were the official day that the United States was officially born as a nation. So that's an example as well. So for a sports franchise, as an, for an example, uh, it's some people may think, oh, it's the first, it's the very first day. It's the day that they played their very first game. Is that what it is? Well, no, it isn't. It, it some a lot of people may believe that. That's actually not, that's actually not the case. I don't believe. Um uh, I I don't believe anyhow. Um, but it's not the day that they played their very first game. It's actually the day where the owners that uh, pitched in all the owners that chipped in to to finance the franchise it's the it's the actual day that it was officially it it was the very day that it was officially announced that the team was going to exist okay that is the day that a sports franchise is officially born it's on the very day that it is officially announced by the people, the group of people that established it. They announce that the sports franchise is going to exist 100%. This sports franchise 
is going to exist. It's going to exist. That is the day, believe it or not, that's it. That's like the ribbon. That's like a ribbon cutting event. That's, that's basically the ribbon cutting is when they, the people announce that, right? So, and that, that's how it goes. Now, there's a couple of things. So I'm, there's a couple of things I'm going to show you first. So we're just going to go to, um, I'm going to show you the, uh, the, uh, Okay, I'm just going to show you the proof of the November the 4th, 1993. And, okay. November the 4th, 1993 is when they officially announced that there was going to exist an NBA franchise in the city of Toronto for the very first time. Or for the, or for, actually the, the Raptors are not, they're not the first sports they're they're actually not the first nba team to exist in toronto the original were the huskies in the 1940s in the 1940s when the nba um was born was born 1946 uh that's when the 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 huskies existed but they didn't they didn't uh, survive they didn't last long as a team and then it was decades, many, many decades later is when the Raptors were officially born. And right here, uh, I'm looking for the franchise history background. Create. So here it is right here, the team creation. So under cre in Wikipedia, creation. The team was formalized on November 4, 1993. There you have it. When the NBA Board of Governors endorsed the decision of expansion committee and awarded awarded the 28th franchise in NBA history uh, to a group headed by Toronto businessman John Bitov for a then record expansion fee of $125 million. And there you have it. So that's the proof right there. Um and as I mentioned, it's the very day that they announce that the team is going to exist. That is the day that a sports franchise is born. It's not, it, it's really not the day that they play their first game. That's not, that's not the case. So it was a couple of years later. Uh, it was a couple of years later or two years later that the uh I I believe the team was named uh was given its name the following year in 1994 if I'm not mistaken uh the, yeah they mention it here too yeah I think it I thought it was around because the movie the movie Jurassic Park by Steven Spielberg came out in 1993 the following year um is when the uh is when the the nba the brand new nba franchise in toronto was named after the creatures from the movie jurassic park the velociraptor uh raptors for short and that's how and because of the because of the huge popularity of the movie uh, which exploded in popularity and they named the the um they named uh, the French the the Toronto NBA franchise after the creatures in the movie, and they thought it was suitable for basketball. And okay, now I want to show you. Um, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you straight up about the Toronto Raptors, uh, what their primal astrology sign is in primal astrology. So as you know, I talk a lot in my videos about primal astrology. The day people are born is, is, is the real, is actually the real sign of theirs more so than their year sign. Um, you'll find that most people, if not all of them, they actually resonate more so with their day sign in astrology uh, than than they do in their of their year 
And when you go very deep, you look at primal astrology, which is the combination of both the Chinese or Vietnamese astrology and the Western astrology that that's regarding airy, the signs of Aries to Pisces. So, and yeah, so just to break it down, so I can tell you up front, the primal astrology sign of the Toronto Raptors, uh, the Toronto Raptors as a sports, sports franchise, so here it is, as a sports franchise, the Toronto Raptors, they are the spirit of the coyote, okay? So the Raptors are the spirit of the coyote in primal astrology because they were of November 4, 1993, in primal astrology, that was day of the coyote in primal astrology. And so basically, day of the coyote, and the reason that is, so I have the, the explanation why that is. Uh, the Toronto Raptors they have what's called the moon. Uh, they have a Gemini moon and they were born on day of the ox in primal astrology. Or, or I'm sorry, day of the ox in Chinese astrology. So the combination of Gemini and ox is the spirit of the coyote. And so I'm going to show you the proof of that, as a matter of fact. And what's interesting, and I have something to show you, which is incredibly interesting about um, the Toronto Raptors and their global ambassador, Drake. Now, guess, guess what? So Drake, uh, the... Um, Drake is the musician, the famous musician. And his his uh his number one sports team who he supports and he's a fan of, it's the Toronto Raptors. And because he he's Toronto native. And so get ready for this, what I'm about to tell you, and I'm going to show you the proof of it, okay? Take a guess. So here's my question for you. Take a guess what spirit animal that Drake is in primal astrology. I just told you the spirit animal of the Toronto Raptors. Spirit of the coyote is the Toronto Raptors because they were born on November the 4th, 1993. Guess what spirit animal that Drake is based on the day that he's born, October 24, 1986. Guess what spirit animal Drake is? You can take a guess. Birds of a feather flock together, don't they? We all know that. We Something in life we all know. Birds of a feather flock together. And this is why you, if you, if you never believed in primal astrology before, I, I think you're going to after this video, because there's no, I don't believe there's any coincidences in life. And it's not a coincidence that Drake is the exact same of a hundred. He's the exact same sign of the primal astrology that the Toronto, that his own Toronto Raptors is. Isn't that ironic? Isn't that ironic? Drake, too, he, too, is born on the day with a Gemini moon and day of the ox. The primal astrology, just like the Toronto Raptors. And that's pretty, that's pretty remarkable. So, again, the Toronto, okay, so the Toronto Raptors, officially born November 4, 1993. November 4, 1993, day of the coyote in primal astrology. Drake, he's born... October 24, 1986. October 24, 1986. Day of the Coyote in primal astrology. Isn't that ironic? And birds of a feather flock together. And there's no coincidences in life, especially when it comes to primal astrology.
So when you see Drake, um, I'm going to show you the proof right here. Get his uh, birth details up. Uh, so there it is right there, Drake, October 24, 86. And then we'll just go to, I, I already showed you the birthday of the Toronto Raptors, of course. Mastering Zodiac. And we look at the true sidereal astrology, which shows the real um, the real zodiac in the sky as it really is if we were to see it with our own eyes. Okay, I'll just say 1 a.m. Or... This time of day doesn't really matter. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's look up uh, Drake's uh, time of day if we could. Uh, can we, yeah, ask charts, see if we could find his time of day, the time of day that he's born. Oh yeah, there, there we go. The, the 2.31 AM. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good enough. That's good enough. So now we know, uh, Drake, the, uh, the rapper musician. So we'll go back to mastering the Zodiac. Two thirty one AM is his birth time. So two thirty one. So yeah, I just I just re revealed to you and told you uh birds of a feather flock together, and how is it only a coincidence that there is one hundred and forty four different animal spirits in primal astrology? And Drake, ironically, an ironic coincidence, if you will, he's the exact same, born the exact same day, uh, spirit animal in primal astrology as his as his uh, sports team. So here he is, Gemini Moon. So here's Drake, October 24, 86. And so as you can see, his moon is Gemini, okay? Now let's let's put down the Toronto Raptors. We could say November November four, and we'll just say noon. It doesn't matter the time of day because all day that day, November four, nineteen ninety three, the the moon was in Gemini all day, all day that day. So we know we know the time of day doesn't really matter. There it is, Gemini moon. It, look at that literally the exact same spot and is this a coincidence you see the moon the exact literally the exact same spot as drake so this is the toronto raptors moon on the day they're born and drake is the exact same spot with the moon so there you go and i'm gonna show you in uh Sorry, give me a minute here. Master Psy. We'll go to Master Psy. Love match. And we're gonna I'm gonna show you the proof that both Drake and his and his team, the Toronto Raptors, are born, both born on Day of the Ox in Vietnamese astrology or Chinese astrology, as it's called. Okay, so here's Drake, October 24. We'll do the Toronto Raptors, 1993, November 4th. Isn't that something? You know, it's, you know, and I noticed that some time back. And I don't think it's a coincidence. No coincidences in life, especially when you look at astrology, you would know that. And... So there it is. So as you can see, so here's Drake on the left, October 24, 86. So here's Drake here, the, the day of the ox or cow. He's born day of the ox. And here's the Toronto Raptors, November 4, 19th, also day of the ox. So, so the Gemini 
again, the Gemini ox is the spirit of the coyote. I'm going to show you the proof of that right now by going to primal astrology combination signs by combination. So Drake, uh, uh, the musician Drake, he is the global ambassador of the Toronto Raptors uh, basketball sports franchise. And he is spirit of the coyote, just like his own sports team. Uh, the Toronto Raptors are also a spirit of the coyote. The Toronto Raptors as a sports franchise, also a spirit of the coyote. So birds of a feather flock together. So there you have it. And that's one of the living proofs um, that I've noticed. And here is, um, we're looking for the Gemini ox. Here it is right here. So the Gemini ox is spirit of the coyote. And that is Drake, the musician, in the sports franchise, the Toronto Raptors. Yep. And I'm going to leave the link. Uh, I'm going to leave the link below for you guys to read about the spirit of the coyote, who is Drake, the musician, and also the Toronto Raptors, the sports franchise. So today, today we talked about the very first for the very first time, the astrology sign of a sports franchise. Uh, this, this sports franchise was born on this day, November 4, 30 years ago, on this day, 30 years ago. And that sports franchise is the Toronto Raptors. And again, their global, the, the Toronto Raptors global ambassador, their own uh, global ambassador is none other than Drake. And he, he too, uh, was born in the same city. And he's the exact same spirit animal in primal astrology. Amazingly, and ironic, which I don't believe is a coincidence at all. So, okay, guys, thanks again for watching today. And I want to thank you again for, I want to thank you again for 500 subscribers uh, to all my subscribers and uh, or supporters. The real name of them are, is supporters and which, uh, which means a lot, uh, definitely means a lot. And I can't thank you enough uh, for all your support. And uh, thanks again, guys, for watching today. So all the best and uh, keep your questions uh, firing at me. I, I answer your questions for free on scorpiooxman at gmail.com. So keep sending your questions to me at scorpiooxman at gmail.com. All the best, guys. Thanks again. Until next time. Take care. All the best. God bless. Thank you.